When your engine starts acting up, whether it's making strange noises, running rough, or throwing a warning light, it's easy to panic. But diagnosing engine problems doesn't have to be a mystery. I've spent decades under the hood and let me tell you, engines usually talk to you. You just need to know how to listen. With a little patience and the right approach, even a regular Joe can figure out what's wrong, or at least narrow it down before heading to the shop. So let's go step by step and break this down in plain English. It's the Car Problems YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Step 1. Start with the warning lights. If your check engine light is on, that's your car's way of saying, hey, something's not right. It could be minor or it could be serious. The only way to know is by plugging in a scan tool. You can get a cheap OBD2 scanner online or go to an auto parts store. Many will scan it for free. The code will tell you which system is acting up. Don't guess. That little light can point you in the right direction before you even open the hood. Step 2. Listen closely to your engine. Engines are like people. When they're not feeling right, they make noise. A ticking sound might mean low oil or a valve issue. A knocking sound? That's bad news and could mean worn bearings or poor combustion. A loud whooshing or hissing could be a vacuum leak. High-pitched whining might mean a belt or pulley is shot. Don't ignore strange sounds. They're your first clue something's wrong. Try to remember when the noise happens, while idling, accelerating, or turning, because that timing matters. Step 3. Feel how the car drives. If your car shakes, stalls, jerks when accelerating, or just doesn't feel as strong as usual, you're probably dealing with a misfire, bad sensor, or fuel issue. An engine needs three things to run right, air, fuel, and spark. If one of those isn't working properly, the engine will let you know. Sluggish performance could mean a clogged fuel filter or dirty injectors. Hesitation might point to a bad spark plug or coil. If it stalls when stopping, you could have a problem with idle control or vacuum leaks. Step 4. Check fluid levels and condition. Pop the hood and take a good look. Check your engine oil. Is it low? Dirty? Smells burnt? That's a red flag. Next, check your coolant. If it's low or rusty looking, you could be dealing with overheating issues. Transmission fluid, if accessible, should be reddish and not smell burnt. Low or contaminated fluids can cause all kinds of engine symptoms. Keep an eye out for any visible leaks under the car or around the engine bay. Even small leaks can cause big problems if ignored. Step 5. Inspect the basics under the hood. Look at your spark plug wires or ignition coils. Are they cracked or loose? Check the air filter, if it's filthy your engine's suffocating. Inspect the belts, if they're frayed, loose or noisy, they could be affecting performance. Look at hoses, any cracks or loose clamps can cause vacuum leaks that mess with your idle and acceleration. Even a loose battery terminal can cause weird electrical issues. You don't need to be a mechanic to spot something that just doesn't look right. Step 6. Monitor for smoke and smells. Blue smoke from the exhaust usually means oil is getting into the combustion chamber, worn piston rings or valve seals. White smoke can mean coolant is getting in, maybe a head gasket issue. Black smoke? Your engine is burning too much fuel. Bad injectors, dirty sensors, or fuel pressure problems. Any kind of sweet burning or fuel smells should get your attention fast. A little smoke or a strange smell might seem harmless, but it usually means your engine is trying to tell you something important. Step 7. Don't ignore patterns. Does the problem happen when the engine's cold, but goes away when warm? Or maybe it shows up when you're on the highway but not in the city? These patterns matter. Write them down or record them on your phone. A mechanic, or you, can use that info to pinpoint the issue faster. Most engine problems don't come out of nowhere. There's usually a pattern, you just need to watch for it. When in doubt, get it diagnosed properly. I've always told folks, there's no shame in asking for help. If you've checked the basics and the problem is still a mystery, take it to someone with the tools and experience to go deeper. A trusted mechanic with a diagnostic scanner and a good ear can save you money in the long run by finding the issue early. Engines are tough, but they're not invincible. Most problems start small, maybe a rough idle, a slight drop in power, or a new noise. If you catch it early, it's often a cheap fix. Way too long, and you're talking about towing bills and engine rebuilds. So don't ignore what your car is trying to tell you. Listen, 
Look, and check the basics. You don't have to be a pro, just be a little curious.